Seems she, she's a lot aggressive, she's really good on control Tatami. So she doesn't let the, the opponent out of uh, the corner. Now the blue was able to take back the center of the Tatami. Welcome to Taekwondo and I'm, I'm going to analyze a match of Laura Williams. She won two world championship and close to win Olympics games. Of course she has a lot to teach us, so I'm going to understand what can we steal from her techniques and I already found three useful things that we can use in training in our dojang. Nice to meet you, I'm Taekwondo Analysis and I love to share my fight analysis on YouTube. If you want to support this channel, subscribe, click the like button to help me spread this video and enjoy this Taekwondo content. Look, she's even in the center of the time. Instead, the blue is still in the corner. It's like 40 seconds that the blue is in the corner. So she was able to strike multiple kicks, but uh, no one of them to take out some points. She also cancels kicks. She cancels high kicks. She cancels uh, cut kick. Plays a little bit with the dodges, so stepping in and out. So she's, she's just trying to take points when the opponent uh, open his guard but she pressed a lot so uh, she pressed through the opponent to the corner so for now what I see this is her strategy she pressed with the cut kick and the high kicks to push the opponent in the corner and keep the center of the time so she has a lot of space to dodge and that's also the reason why probably the blue was never able to do anything for now in those uh, two minutes so when the opponent use a cut kick she dodge with the steps or she block with cancel but for now she was like a bit unlucky and she wasn't able to try to take points with her kicks but she still struck a lot of blows now let's watch a little bit since the start she starts aggressive with an axe kick she press with cancel then counter with a heel kick we don't see a lot of roundhouse uh, back roundhouse kick but she plays a lot with front kick so uh, she's still a side kicker she found a spot uh, the blue like give up a little bit the match there tried the red tried uh, to take multiple points for now she was only able to uh, take two points with a punch because it seems like she's not able to take points by connect their kick with the armor so for now the only way to take points is with their punches so this is a problem due the uh, brand of their armor they are using Kim PMP are well known uh, because it's, uh, it's harder to score on those um, armor so the electronic system calibrated in a different way than the Aido. so this is the first kick that she was able to score the blue is in the corner she started the action with the side kick and then continue the action with the not a roundhouse kick the an inner kick an inner right kick or an axe kick whatever you want to call it and this is by the way a really common strategy by a lot of players so you start with a side kick and close the action with an inner kick uh, then the blue grabber so she wasn't able to uh, continue the action i think they gave her a bit too many points i don't know there was a beautiful action here so the blue starts she cancels the kick and strike a side kick so this is also a common pattern so you should pay attention when you fight against her because if you start with a side kick and it's a weak kick she's going to cancel and then score with the uh, sidekick of course now in this case is doing the same thing but so she aimed for the opponent element look here so cancel then he'll kick to the head was really a good kick the blue lost a little bit to the mind there she could have took more points she was able to take other two points with a beautiful feint so it was a fake side kick and then score with a roundhouse kick so we can learn already a lot from this player we can still have some technique and the first one is a cancel kick linked to a side kick and a cancel linked to a night kick so you can abuse also you can train this kick and bring in your training because see Seems really a useful kick. Now, of course, the point cap is used and she needs just other two points to win the match. So let's watch how she's going to take those two points. She's aggressive now. She forced a head kick. She forced also a spinning hook kick and then was able to take three points. I think this is a little bit unfair because the referee should remove those points because she struck when the opponent touched the ground. So you should not be able to score when the opponent touched the ground. The blue coach could have lifted the card because she didn't hit there. She hit when the, the blue was already on the ground so that was not a win the blue could have fight but i don't think the results would be different the gap is really huge and she just need two points to win the match if you want to watch another fight like this i advise you to click the video in the center of the screen